Well, private sector players are stepping up to help government vaccinate as many people as possible. Reporter Rianta Padiachi visited one of Discovery's biggest vaccination centers in Johannesburg to see that how things are going. And she also got an update on a recent study by the company which reveals very worrying findings about the effects of COVID-19 on patients long after they've recovered. Soon, this vaccination site will be inoculating 4,000 people a day. Overseeing operations is Dr. Ron Whelan. He heads up Discovery's COVID-19 task team. The health insurer is helping government ramp up its national rollout. It's also recently carried out a study to assess how effective the Pfizer vaccine is. Even though this is the first dose, uh, the results look uh, very, very good. So what we're seeing is a 47% reduction in infection risk 21 days post your first dose. So globally what we're seeing is about a 33% reduction. So these results really look uh, quite promising. But the study revealed far more concerning findings. While COVID-19 is known to have a more severe impact on people with comorbidities like diabetes, the study found that the virus can cause diabetes. What we found is a, a 2.75 times higher risk of contracting diabetes uh, on the back of uh, COVID. And in fact, if you've been hospitalized, you've got a five times higher risk of contracting diabetes on the back of COVID. Whelan says 60% of COVID patients also showed inflammation of their heart muscle fibers, leaving them at risk of developing a chronic heart condition. He says, if anything, these findings give people a very good reason to get vaccinated. Needles and I are not friends, but yeah, it was important to get it. This is what I've been dying for. I'm so happy. I'm encouraging everyone, all South Africans, to come and get this vaccine. I'm feeling good, so I'm hoping everyone comes and vaccinates. Riante Pediachi, Johannesburg.